Welcome back to another Enemy AI for Game Maker Studio and today we're gonna utilize a few things which we have done in the previous videos of this series and make a little bit of a bouncy thing because I guess this is well a thing which you see in lots of video games because the reasons that you have slimes which are just jumping and attacking and then at some point just randomly well, doing the boing and then just jumping up on you so if you want to know how to do that in game maker studio stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing like so the theory and the practice behind this is kind of easy so first of all we get our slime which is then basically on rails and we give it a direction of 0 to 180 so basically a zero is going right and then 180 is left so choo -choo. And then we uh, use uh, on the walls which are there so this is one of the things which i did uh, uh, ad nauseum in the previous videos basically um, we use uh, uh, collision with a wall and then move bounds and then choo, 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 of course link in the description below and then i guess somewhere else and then the next thing is well we give it at some point a timer so basically a timer is running down and then we just say like alrighty dude time to jump so basically this is 45 degrees this is 135 so going right up is 45 and then going left is 135 then basically we just give it the direction and then if you just leave it like this we would fly up for infinity not the best idea so therefore we need a counter force which is gravity so let's jump right into it so the first thing which we want to have is basically set a direction and speed of course the direction is at zero so we don't have to kind of technically do that in the create event we do it anyway and then we have a jump timer just one variable which we run down in our well, uh, step event and for setup basically let's just do it with one of those guys uh, we could do that in the air but this is not the best way so basically Italy uh, buff here and then we have one jump and then boom we're gonna do it. so the first thing which it's kind of important well once again move bound solid so if we are going left and right with our setup it will just go left and right so this is okay ish but let's do a little bit more because we want to well do something um another thing this is just one sprite this is not part of the tutorial but if you want to have it the lazy man's of animating the thing because drawing itself a look kind of uh, kind of clunky and silly so therefore i just made uh, well, some animation and plus i'm just drawing over it the direction so you can check it out but let's get rid of those guys and go, go to the important stuff so we have our jump timer we run it down so if this timer is uh, smaller than zero first of all we kind of reset it so basically we just say like hey mm, let's give it some random time so copy paste reset that thing and now what the next thing which we want to do is uh, make it jump but of course it would be uh, logical to jump in the direction which we're going so for example if you're going to the right which is a direction of zero then we go and want to go uh, to the right top so basically here this is 45 and then if you're going left well we go in this direction which is 135 so if our current direction is zero then we just say like hey our direction is now 45 and then of course if you're going left so this is for the right we go now left then it is 135 this is of course pretty neat above, but let's give it some extra spice let's give um, an extra speed which i now set it between three and four at the start we just have one and then let's see and what you see now we are animating and then we go into infinity <laughs> because we have no gravity so let's add some gravity at the very beginning we want to have well gravity set in a specific direction so i guess the default value is zero maybe it's 270 i'm not sure about that but let's set it to this one value one time and then of course say like hey gravity uh, once we are jumping let's go and 0 
Alrighty, so we are waiting and then boom, now we have kind of a perma jumping enemy, which is kind of taking up speed or less or more. And then, woo, <laughs> he's going wild as it seems. So this is pretty sweet, but we actually want it to stop. So therefore, um, we need to kind of check, hey, are we having a collision with our bottom? Not to the left and right, because this is automatically well, resetting the direction, which is then automatically set to us. But we want to uh, do some extra stuff. So without further ado, well, we need to do a little bit of calculation, which is a collision. So collision, uh, well, you can do that with collision point if you like. And then, for example, if below us, so x plus 2, once again, a little bit for the sprite. It is centered at the bottom, so this is kind of fortunate in this kind of regard. And therefore, plus two, so a little bit below. To put it in context, a little bit below. Hey, is there, uh, well, a collision? So basically, is there a wall below us? And if yes, so if this value, which is then checked all the time, is not no one so this is the negative version so basically just say like hey we got an id suite we got a wall the id of the wall which we are colliding with then we say like hey uh, great then reset because we want to go on our left right rails again then speed set to one because now we are just on the rails on the bottom and then um, we set our direction and this is a little bit tricky because uh, we want to set our speed correctly and therefore this is a little bit wonky so here we just use a little variable which are called set uh, dia one so basically set the direction once we, call, we set it to false at the very beginning and then we can just take this dude and say like hey if we haven't set it great then we set it this is just basically kind of a flip which is just saying like, hey, just do it once, please. Then we set it to true. So this is just triggered once. And then what we do is give it a random direction. Then we just say, like, hey, direction, go left, uh, go right, or go left. This is then, of course, then up to you. And then the last thing which we need to do, because uh, we want to use our gravity sparingly. So we just get rid of the gravity here because once we are on the bottom, we don't need the gravity. Then we just say like, else, hey, we are not colliding with the wall. Then our gravity is, of course, a 0 0.1. So here we go. And this is basically the whole code for it. And of course, here, this would just go once. So we need to, uh, once when we are jumping, just to re-trigger it. So basically, um, this whole thing can loop so once again this is the jumping part just setting up the direction but once we are on the well on the floor on the bottom again we want to uh, set our speed to slow our gravity to zero and then just give it a random direction go left or go right so let's check this out and boom what you're seeing we're jumping and then as you can see he's landing and then he's on his rails again and like and of course the left and right jumping part so th so the bouncing of those vertical walls is still intact but the collision at the bottom is just setting like hey is do we want to have the gravity or not so hopefully that was of interest to you because i guess this is a pretty sweet and interesting enemy type more or less which is the slimer the jumper whatever you want to call that have a good one one up indie